Hello, my name is David Buchanan. I'm responsible for the vision systems at the company Vision Control. In this video, I want to introduce you the new Vicosys 6300, which is uh, the system that replaces the Vicosys 5300 and the Vicosys 5400. Now I want to explain the interfaces of the Vicosys 6300. Here is the 24 volt connector. Uh, there are two monitor outputs, one is HDMI and one is SVGA. There are two RS-232 connectors as well as eight USB ports. There are two network ports here, please read the label. The one and the two is otherwise around as the previous 5300 and 5400 system. There is the button to restart the system. Here is the slot for the integrated digital I.O. card. Uh, if you order it, it's not standard. And there are two ports for other cards. In the top port, there is the digital I.O. or Profinet card if you order it. In the bottom part is the camera card with the four PoE uh, ports. In this comparison sheet, you will see the Vicosys 5300, 5400, and the 6300. You can see that we replaced the two systems 5300 and 5400 by only one 6300. This is because the Vicosys 6300 is much faster than the old two systems. For example, in the CPU frequency, you can see that the Vicosys 5300 ran with two cores, uh, 1.7 gigahertz, and the Vicosys 5300 with two cores are 1.9 gigahertz, but a more modern CPU model. Both are now replaced by uh, the four cores with 3.2 gigahertz, um, as well as a newer processor generation. So you see the speed is faster than the old two systems. We also doubled the available RAM. So the old system had two and four gigabyte. The new system has now eight gigabyte. So the number of image pages you can process also increased significantly. The internal storage, um, which is used to save images directly on the device, also changed from four gigabyte to 32 gigabyte. And uh, also the speed of this internal device increased significantly. An important difference is the um, by default assembled digital IOs. Uh, you see that the old systems had four inputs and four outputs uh, by default. The new system does not have that. Um, you have to select in the product configurator one of the interface cards. Um, concerning the dimensions, they are comparable, similar, but not identical. And uh, concerning the fan, you should know that by default, we will deliver the system always with a fan, um, but you can deselect it in the product configurator. So um, you can create by this a fanless device, but you should consider that the ambient temperature uh, decreases from, or the loud ambient temperature decreases from 50 degree to 35 degree if you do that. Concerning the monitor output, we work with a new system with HDMI. The older systems had DVI and all the um, supported cards you know. So like the digital I.O. cards, the Profinet cards and the camera cards are still supported. The old uh, licenses you can, you got for the Vicosys 5400 and 5300 are still supported as well as the new Halcon license that is supported um, with firmware 300 or above. We also have to know that uh, the new devices will only work with the firmware above version 300 because only in this versions the new um, drivers are included. The programming concept is still the same. So if you are familiar with Vicosys 5300 and 5400, it should be no problem for you to change to Vicosys 6300. Now I want to explain you the new mounting options of the Vicosys 6300. Um, in comparison to the old system, which had uh, four holes, which uh, were part of these welded L sheets directly to the system, you had only the way to assemble it flat. 
uh, with the new Vicos 6300, you have two options. One is again flat, and this would mean you have to rotate it to the back, and then remove these four rubber covers, and take these two sheet metal parts and mount it this way so that the cross wise holes are outside and the small holes here inside um, using this kind of black screws. Uh, the alternative way is um, to mount it vertically. For this version you can take these other two parts um, and mount one here, that is the short part again, and the long part from this side. So uh, the long part is then exceeding the schooling plate and is uh, accessible from the outside. So, thank you.